okay? Is it you? We're just gonna... Oh, it is you! I did it! I mean, what do I do with it? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do, I do? What do, I do? Eh. Oh, there's something on the back. Crap. Uh, yeah. Why would I think putting it in the garbage would do anything? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Just In Time Incorporated. So I don't know if you guys actually enjoyed the first episode or not, because I'm recording this episode immediately after. I was about to turn off the recording and everything, but I'm having so much fun that I really want to play more, and I think Kevin is trying to entice me not to leave. Again, PR isn't really doing her job. She's just kind of ignoring this. I feel harassed right now, ma'am. I mean, do you have any idea how hard it is to get work done in a place where you can do this? Ooh, I haven't actually been over here before. Hi, I'm Captain Sauce. It's my first day on the job. Well, second day, technically. Not a very talkative one, are you? Then look, look, a bunch of fancy missions in there. Some more fancy missions over here. Can I get in here, I wonder? Uh, what would the code be, I wonder? <laughs> Worth a try. Step one, sell policy. Step two, wait for death. Step three, warp time and space. And step four, happy client. All right, so how about we make some happy clients in this building fire? 1137 Grove Street, age varied, there's a fire. Building has caught fire and our clients are trapped inside. Now, are they all covered or is it just a few? Because I don't know if I'm supposed to save everybody or not. Right, you don't do anything for free. There's no time. It looks like our clients will have to jump. Help soften the fall. I need to catch people jumping out of a burning building? Actually, I guess my gloves can catch bullets, right? So they're just bigger, slower bullets. Sure, why not? How am I gonna manage? Oh, you guys are prepared for this. All right, so I just need to grab a few of these. And when somebody jumps like you, we can just... Right? Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Yeah, he's going to be safe. Here comes another one. You're good, right? You're not going to, like, bounce a couple of times and then die. Uh, I think you're going to be right around there. And then we need to go get more. Don't want anybody else falling. Uh, oh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, there you go, old man. That's for you. Oh, crap. Uh, no, no. Maybe we just put down another one just to be certain. Looks like he's a bouncer. There you go, you see? Nice soft landing. <laughs> I don't know if he survived or not. Maybe he's just in shock. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, man, but I think that guy broke his neck. CHR has had a word with Kevin. Hopefully you've learned your lesson, Kevin, okay? It's completely unacceptable. Do not come over here and touch me. Listen, if I want to ride that handlebar mustache, I'll ask, okay? There's no reason to bother me in the workplace. I love the music in this game, too. It's just so, like, jivey and jittery. So we've escorted the bridge, we've saved the fire, now we need to do a rat outbreak. Whatever that means. Can I, uh, drink this, I wonder? No? Kevin, can you come test this for me real quick? I don't know what this does. Oh! Oh! Okay! Um... You see nothing, nothing, okay? Nobody spilled any chemicals. We're not gonna make any Ninja Turtles around here. Everything is okay. Rat outbreak with Dr. PETA. Known for new species development. Threat, the doctor's rodents of unusual size are escaping. Great, I already work with giant rats and now I need to go work with more? The containment units are malfunctioning protect Dr. Peter from his unusually large rodents. Really? It's one containment unit and what looks like a dead, unusually large rodent. I don't see an issue with... Okay, you know what? That's a lot of rodents. This is another one of those cases where I kind of want to just let you die because it's your own dumb fault, but I guess I'm technically getting paid. Am I getting paid? This is my job. Doesn't feel like I'm getting paid. That looks like fire. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take the fire, and why don't we take what the fire's on as well? This didn't do anything to Kevin, but it might work on smaller rats, so how about we just go over here? 
Oh, you guys are like locked in right now. Just don't open the doors and... No, don't open the doors, you moron. Okay, here you go. That's for you. Ooh, little rat bits. All right, and right there. That's working pretty well. Yeah, you know what? I think I like the idea of goo. That goo seems to be stopped in time and space. That might be an issue. Ah, there you go. Suck it. <laughs> this is working great. I'm just ruining hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of chemicals. Why did it bounce off? <laughs> It bounced off him, yes! <laughs> we did it! You're welcome! I, I kind of want to stab you with a syringe, but again, I, I wish they would let you screw around after you beat the level. Like, there's a fire axe over there, I see a knife. Those rat traps? I, I want to try this one again, you know what? Screw it, I'm not going to do every one of them once. There's a lot of stuff here. The one obvious question that everybody has on their mind is, can you take the axe and can you use it to bludgeon the scientist to death? <laughs> and the answer is yes. Yes, you can. No, no, no. You said that I need to save him from rats. Technically, I did. Why do you guys have to always ruin my fun? I don't understand. Okay, let's see here. We got cheese. So if I put the cheese in the corner, that's not the corner I was going for. More the floor corner. Then uh, we might be able to chuck some of these around it. I don't know if they're gonna go for the cheese or not. I'm gonna put some of those around you too, boss, just in case any stragglers get through. I wonder if I could just go to town with the axe. Yeah, how about we just try a solo axe? Oh, that might be a little bit difficult. Might be a bit of a challenge. There are a whole bunch of rats. All right, hold on, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I can't, there's so many. I'm getting multiples and single hits. There's so many rats. Oh my God. I hope you like rat paste because there's gonna be a whole bunch of it once I'm done. There we go. All right. Ooh, man. Chopping up rats is hard work. You've saved your first group of clients from gruesome death. We've decided that you can be trusted with access to some of our more challenging assignments. Ooh. Please follow me now. Yeah, can I go in the, the fancy room? With, with this guy? Hi again! Oh. Every agent is given a personal access code to this part of the building. Yours is 0709. 709? That's my area code. That's kind of weird. Okay, 0709. Yeah. Congratulations on your promotion to Associate Death Prevention Agent. We trust you will continue to keep the interests of our clients your top priority. Um, uh, I mean, maybe. My top priority right now is seeing if, uh... Yeah, that, that kind of feels wrong, but you know what? I did it to Kevin, so it's only fair. <laughs> Kevin, you guys match. She didn't have a name tag though, so I'm just gonna name her Priscilla, because that's the name I would expect for a crap HR representative. So let's see what we need to do now. We can body search. Uh, we can do a birthday drive-by? Probably preventing a birthday drive-by, not performing one. I don't think we're quite in that business yet. We can get to the chopper. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Or we can do the secret lair. <laughs> they weren't joking around when they said that this stuff was getting more tense. Get, oh, get away from my butt, dude. No means no. Now that I think about it, I might be a pro at body searching, right? I could just pat them down, strip search if I have to, and touch their... Bombs? We're, we're searching for bombs? What? <laughs> Someone in the park is hiding a bomb. Find it. Pr protect our clients. Oh, man. Many clients. Do you ever do anything? Someone is hiding a bomb. Full body searches may be necessary. Find the bomb before it's too late. So I don't know who has it and I need to search them? Does searching them just mean taking off their clothes? Who looks suspicious? Of course it's all men. Okay, well, I guess we'll start with you. Excuse me, sir. I just need to... 
Really? What's this is a weird town, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. People can do whatever they want, dress however you want. It's just a, a little odd, you know? Kind of confusing. Alright, here we go. We got a hammer. Uh no, I think you're good. Not not seeing any bomb, not seeing any bomb. No, I think you're clean. It's you, isn't it? Huh? That, is that ice cream calling a bomb? I'm getting out of here. Uh Okay! Where was the bomb? What are the odds that it's not gonna be you again? I'm willing to bet that they switch it up. Now, where would you have hit a bomb? Right? I don't see anything. I don't know if I need to, like, feel through them or something like that. There's, there's nothing there, okay? Is it you? We're just gonna... Oh, it is you! I did it! I, I mean, what do I do with it? What do I do? 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 What do, I do? Eh. Oh, there's something on the back. Crap. Uh, yeah. Why would I think that putting it in the garbage would do anything? Okay! No, we're good! <laughs> oh my god! This is why you send a bomb expert in! Because a bomb expert wouldn't think, yeah, just toss it out! That, that'll fix everything! Heaven, I am now trained in searching, and I've been told that you have a bomb, so we just need to... No bomb. We're good. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the level design so far. It feels like it's a bunch of different games wrapped into one, because we're always doing something radically different. Uh, how about we go over here to the secret lair? Doesn't sound like so much of a secret. Jamie Pond has been captured and her policy covers rescue from super villains. Find a way to prevent her gruesome death by the ultra laser. Smart. Getting the super villain package. Yeah, I always recommend that one to people. Okay, so she's as tough as nails, avoids fancy cocktails, and we need to prevent death by ultra laser. So I'm guessing that would be the ultra laser that she's in. And you guys don't want to let me stop that. All right, shouldn't be too difficult. So let's just, ooh. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind a, a katana. Katanas are always pretty sweet. Okay, no, 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 we can't. We can't be pre, pre, preoccupied. Pre, pre, preoccupied with the heads right now. Okay, stop that. It's really rude. Stop that, okay. I think everybody's dead. Uh, iris scan? What the? Oh, oh crap. Uh, can I? I, d I don't have any irises left. Okay, no, there's one over here. There's one over here. I got it. I got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, where did it go? Right around here? There we go. That's the stuff. I. Oh, crap. Crap. No. That was so close. It was, like, right next to her. I was so distracted by their heads flying off that she almost got shish kebabs. Okay, well, you're welcome. If you're ever in my neck of the woods, I uh, know how to take an 8-bit dress off pretty quick. Ooh, that was intense. Okay, so moving on to get to the chopper. Age 23, Raider of Tombs. General Badass, Indiana Jane. <laughs> the fanatics want their idol. Get Jane to the chopper. Oh man, if there isn't an Arnold character in this, I'm gonna be disappointed. Escort Indiana Jane to the inbound chopper. The fanatics want their idol back and will bring everything they have. I'm gonna assume that the giant truck with the bloody cow catcher is bad? Um. I'm also kind of concerned that Predator might be in these trees, but yeah, sure, you know what, we can make it work. I don't have, like, weapons or anything, so you just go, 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 go on, go on, get a move on, get a move on. Ow! Oh. whoa, whoa, we're, whoa, they're coming out of everywhere. I need your shirt, I need your combat shirt. Okay, I, I know that sounds bad, but I actually do need it because it's the only thing I have to hit people with. Turns out a shirt, not the greatest. Hmm. Might have gone after the guy with the gun first. I was too concerned with the cow catcher truck. I freaking told you guys Predator was going to be in the trees, and it turns out they were. Now, how am I going to stop this? Can I? I'll get down to you right away. Okay. What, what kind of weapon you got? You got something. There you go. You got a knife. Eh. 
He's dealt with. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. I probably only need to deal with these guys, right? The cow catcher's probably not gonna catch up. There we go. You have a gun. You probably don't need a gun. There we go. You're useless now. Anybody else? Anybody else? Who wants some? You, you want some. No, no, no. Stop that. That's, that's an RPG. That's an RPG. Get down. Oh, crap. Oh, I can use that on you. Oh, he's got a knife, too. We might want to watch out for that. Careful. Oh, that is... Oh, crap. Swing and a miss. Um, um, um. Ow. Okay. No, got it, got it, got it. That's going over there. This is really difficult right now. This is really challenging. Everybody's got a gun. There's so many of them. I just need to keep them off of her. Uh... Actually, I think that will catch up. I think I was supposed to hit you with the RPG. I might be a little screwed. Um, move faster. Move faster, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're so close. No, no. Oh, come on. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna take some of the blame on that one. I did miss the RPG shot. But if you could have been just a little bit quicker, we would have both gotten through that, all right? So you're gonna run a little bit faster. I'm gonna hit the RPG, and we're also gonna deal with the Bushmen. Uh, okay, we're going after you. What have you got on you? Probably just a knife. Okay, we got that. Thank you, and I wish I could keep it. I could probably pull it out again, but I don't really have time. That can just go over there. That's fine. All right, are we doing good? We're doing all right. We got RPG guy coming. You have a gun. We, we definitely don't. We don't want guns around here. We're not a gun household. All right. Can you fire that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Any day now. You have a gun. That's bad. But oh, they got like backup knives as well. Interesting. Now, can I please just hit this? There we go. <laughs> I got that guy as well. Okay, no victory yet. Gotta be careful. Gotta be- Oh, okay. Yep, gotta be careful. No, I don't want your pants. I definitely don't want your pants. Okay, just gonna get rid of your helmet and then... That's the stuff. Can you maybe move a little faster? <laughs> Why are these guys so fast and you are so not? I'm just stripping them. I'm just I'm making them naked. It's not what, what I designed. I, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, there. What are you gonna do now? How are you gonna chase her looking like a fool? Are we good? No, 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 no. Give me that. Get out of here. What is wrong with people? Last one? Uh, that was a miss, but I think we're okay. I'm just gonna take those. Oh, yeah. Slow motion. <laughs> oh, I laughed. She just fell. She didn't make it. That has to be victory, right? What do you think? Is that victory? You can go after her if you really want. I guess that's a no. <laughs> Smells like victory to me, though. Yeah, all right. I am not cleaning all of this up. I will keep the pants, though. Ooh, our final mission for this area is the birthday drive-by. Dawn and Anna, happily married. No, really. A birthday surprise ruined by cars and ammo. Interesting. This will definitely be very different. Oh no. Don's birthday celebration is about to be ruined by a madman in a car. Both he and his wife are policy holders and must survive, but that filthy clown is your call. What filthy clown? What? Oh! Oh, okay. So, what about the clown? I didn't understand that. The filthy clown is Yokol, something like that. This is ruined by cars and ammo, so I'm gonna guess you're the ammo part of the equation. We can probably deal with that right away. Uh, no, you have the ammo. So, what's the clown's problem? Weird. Okay, I don't know how to save you because... I don't know, I can take your pants. Run away, you're embarrassed. I, I don't... Oh, okay, you're gonna shoot Granny, but then I, I didn't really... Hmm. Okay, well we got half the solution. Both he and his wife are policy holders and must survive, but that filthy clown is your call. 
but that filthy clown is your call. So I don't have to save the clown. Okay, but that doesn't help me. So uh, what is he doing right now? You're gonna get shot. He's crossing the street to get a balloon. So do I just need to give him a balloon? Look, we're, we're gonna grab balloons and we're gonna go over here. Here you go. Here's, here's a balloon. That's for you. Go, go. Go, go, cross, cross the street, cross the street, go faster, go, 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 come on, come on, there we go, I can kind of interact with you with the balloon, oh, okay, I see, the balloons can interact with them, so I can take two balloons, and then we're gonna go behind you, right, and I could just stick them to you, just like that, right, oh, I hear some heavenly... Yeah! There we go! Okay, wait, 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 wait. First, I, I need you... You can go up as well, and then we're gonna save you, right? We're, we're good right here. <laughs> See ya, <you>, clown! <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna rain clowns. How terrifying. Yoink! There we go, and boop! Ooh, they're quicker than I expected. That's fine, you know what? I, I really wanted to get the clown anyway. That's not gonna help him! I don't think we did a good job here today, folks! <laughs> can I please kill him? When the bullets get further away, I feel like they slow down. But either way, we've saved her. Do I need to finish this guy off or not? I'm not entirely sure. Eh, there we go. It's just, it's not gonna reach him. It's so freaking slow. I mean, that's fine, right? You, you, did you want bloodlust, ma'am? Did, did you need bloodlust by any chance? Or are you perfectly okay with uh, him getting away? Because bloodlust is gonna cost you extra. That's a whole different package. Just go, turn the corner, do whatever you're doing, man. Level's over. Are they just driving into that build? Oh. Okay. Did I do that? You have become an excellent employee and have prevented the death of many of our clients. You have also caused a lot of collateral damage, but the costs so far have been acceptable. A clown. Please follow me now. All right. Ooh, can I go in here now? Yes. This Can't ignore me forever. This building contains our most advanced assignments. Your personal access code is 0328. 0328. Yes! Congratulations on your promotion to Senior Loss Prevention Specialist. We look forward to seeing how you cope with an even higher caseload than before. Even more work. Yay! A jerk hole! Get back here! You can't ignore me forever, okay? We work in the same place and you're gonna have to look at me! Look at me! You're not so fancy now without your glasses and your stupid little earpiece. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Maybe you don't even want pants, huh? I figured you'd be a tidy whiteies guy. How about, whoa, those gang tattoos? I'm gonna tell HR. Oh, this guy has a name. Good, I was wondering when we were gonna meet more name people. This is Justin Time. Of course. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Just In Time Incorporated, guys. And once again, I really do hope that you're enjoying the game. I am having a blast with it, so much so that I couldn't even put it down. So if you guys do want to see it become a series, once again, please leave a like on the video, leave a comment letting me know. I would absolutely love to do more. I can only imagine what Justin and Dickweed here have to offer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.